really one of the legends of naval aviation. Uh, Jimmy Thatch is uh, famous in naval aviation history primarily because of his role as a, f a fighter tactician. He went on to be a four-star admiral, and he uh, also was, uh, a lot of people don't realize, in the 1950s, was a pioneer in anti-submarine warfare. He commanded one of the anti-submarine, first carrier anti-submarine warfare groups and really helped uh, uh, pioneer that as well. And actually, as a flag officer, he was uh, in charge of all anti-submarine warfare in the, uh, in the Pacific. So uh, he was, had a very varied career. So Thatch came up with this idea, it was called the Thatch. We basically two airplanes flying a beam one another. And they would constantly be turning in behind each other. So when they would turn, they could clear the other aircraft's tail. And when they were flying in this position, one airplane would get attacked. This airplane could easily turn and counter that attacking airplane. It made a big difference as the war was progressed. Uh, the tactic proved to be very effective. The reason he came up with that is the Zero was a very maneuverable uh, aircraft when compared to the F-4F Wildcat, like the one behind me that the U.S. Naval Aviators were flying at the time. So it was a defensive tactic. So he uh, was very famous for coming up with that. The Thatch Weave was taught in naval aviation well after World War II. And so it's a tactic that has gone down in history as one of the, uh, one of the more famous ones. Uh, also in World War II, he was uh, a chief planning officer for uh, Admiral John S. McCain, the current senator's grandfather. And uh, Thatch came up with a tactic uh, to attack Japanese airfields on the ground before uh, invasions would occur. And it was something called the Big Blue Blanket. And he came up with uh, launching just massive fighter uh, groups to destroy aircraft, enemy aircraft on the ground in places like the Philippines and Formosa, some of those islands that the U.S. was attacking at the time. So he came up with that uh, concept as well. Um, during, after uh, World War II, uh, one, of the, one of the primary roles of the Navy or one of the focuses of the Navy was uh, the Soviet Navy particularly uh, anti-submarine warfare, you know, trying to figure out in the event of war, just to, you know, how to, uh, how to combat the uh, Soviet submarine uh, fleet. And so what, one thing they decided to do was take uh, aircraft carriers and turn those aircraft carriers into anti-submarine warfare carriers. And that means they would carry helicopters and aircraft specifically designed uh, to uh, combat enemy submarines, hunt for them, and if, if possible, attack them with torpedoes and depth charges and what have you. And so they built uh, these anti-submarine warfare groups around these particular carriers. They were called CVSs, which are anti-submarine warfare carriers. And so he commanded one of the first groups that was uh, Task Group Alpha which was one of those anti-submarine warfare uh, task groups and did a lot, of, a lot of exercises in the Atlantic and demonstrated what they could do. And then uh, later on in his career was uh, really uh, Pacific, certainly one of the, the largest ocean was one of the areas where uh, those anti-submarine warfare forces were engaged and he was in charge of all of that. So that was really uh, another part of his career that, uh, that people did not really know much about. He was very more famous for the fighter tactician side of things.